But now, M Hacks now, M Hacks gives you one more thing. Brendan Uribe, founder of Oculus. Whoa. Wow. This is awesome. It's uh, it's really great to be here. Big honor. Um, so many incredibly smart people out in the audience here. Um, I love being at hackathons. I started at hackathons when I was uh, young and, and ambitious and full of uh, naive ideas and all kinds of ambitious goals and had no idea about realities. Uh, and that's where you make the best stuff. That's where all of these incredible inventions came from. They really came from you guys. So when uh, Sherrick, uh, Sherrick emailed me and said, hey, could you come speak at uh, today's hackathon? And I thought, you know, that sounds super exciting. It would be an honor, and it would be fun to be here and see what you guys create. Um, you know, that, that's interesting. When is it? Uh, it's tomorrow. OK, well, I'm in Berlin. Um, so this, this might be a little difficult. Uh, let me see what I can do on flights. But uh, that's what hackathons are all about. That's what startups are all about. They're, you know, move fast and break things, right? And so uh, there goes my itinerary, broken. and my assistant is uh, just now going to bed, and she luckily made a lot of different changes to, uh, to get here. Uh, but it is awesome to be here, and this is something where you guys are getting ready to have no sleep. Uh, I'm just coming off of Berlin. I don't know how many of you saw the news on Gear VR. Woo! Woo! So Gear VR is, you, you know about Oculus and the Rift, uh, but Gear VR is a, a, a product that we just announced with Samsung, and we were in Berlin at the Samsung Unpacked announcing that, and that was about three to four days of absolutely no sleep, much like what you guys are about to go through. I feel for you, I'm just getting off of it. Um, and it was an incredible event, we got up on stage, John Carmack got up on stage and announced uh, the product, and it was really exciting to see uh, this, all this work come to fruition to finally be on stage to get something out that's gonna get out to everybody. And I think it's important that people understand where, again, where Oculus came from. We're a hack. We started as a hack. We started with Palmer Lucky hacking together with duct tape and hot glue and uh, some foam core boards, some magnifying lenses. At, I think he was 16 when he made the first uh, prototype of Oculus Rift. Younger than probably most of you guys. Um, and he created the Rift in the beginning just by himself as a hack. At 19, we put together the company and got lucky enough to, uh, to partner with him. Again, it was a hack, it was duct tape in the beginning. Gear VR, which we just announced on stage with Samsung, which is a pretty large company, pretty big stage, to put it out there, started out as a hack. It was a 3D printed, slightly better than hot glue and uh, foam core board, but it was a 3D printed holder that you could drop your phone in and you could put it on, look around, and it pretty much made you ill instantly and didn't work. Um, and it, you know, fast forward a year of work and we finally made it something, something real that we were on stage in front of I think 14 million people uh, announcing as a real product. Again, it started out as a hack. So I, you know, so many things start out as hacks. I think the, by 19 year olds, by 18 year olds, the beginning of Oculus, the beginning of Microsoft and Apple and the beginning of Netscape and the browser, from Mark Andreessen, started out as a college project, right? And that was the beginning uh, of, of the browser and internet. The beginning of social and networking started in a dorm room. So there's so much opportunity that you guys have. You really are the future. And we believe that virtual reality is gonna be a big part of the future too. So I was excited to come here and talk to you guys about virtual reality, the future, and hacking, and how ultimately, the world that we live in a decade or two from now is going to be a world that you guys created. I'll have fun participating in it and looking around and hopefully not getting too sick. Uh, but you guys will have made the experiences and, and the platform of the next computing paradigm, which we really believe is virtual reality. How many of you believe in virtual reality? Yeah, all right. I did not two and a half years ago. Um, it was something that I think many of you know, many people out there dream about. I dreamed about it, but until I saw Palmer's first prototype, I really didn't necessarily believe that it was ever going to happen. A lot of people had tried and failed, and it just wasn't there. And then, lo and behold, 
a young 19-year-old hack something together that suddenly goes to change the world. And that's just a testament to what you guys can do. You really can change the world. Many of you will. You literally will make something that impacts millions and millions of people. And I thought about, you know, what could I say here that would leave an impact on you guys? Um, one of the things that uh, is really important, so I thought of three or four kind of important points. And one of them is hard work. You hear like hard work pays off and there's all these different coins around hard work. I cannot stress how important working hard is, how important staying focused and just getting done the project that you're working on. School projects, you know, you should get those done quickly and put them out of the way. And then get right back to the cool stuff, which is what I consider like side hacks, which are your ideas, your inventions. That's what's going to change the world. And a project at school is not going to change the world. Um, let's be honest, it's just not going to. But something that you come up with, that you invent, that's an incredible idea, can have an awesome impact if you really work hard. And I cannot stress how hard you have to work. I dropped out of college when I was 19 for an idea that I thought was going to be not that hard, which was let's make a better windowing system than Microsoft and Apple. Yeah, not that hard. Easy. So my uh, business partner and I, also 19 when we were freshmen in college, decided to drop out and run at making a better windowing system. About six years later, and literally we were counting them sometimes, 100, 120 hour weeks that we were programming, about six years uh, after we dropped out, we realized that we were not going to change the world with our windowing system and that we were gonna fail with our windowing system and it wasn't gonna work. And I mean, we killed ourselves for five to six years to do this. So we quickly pivoted and we figured out a way to turn it into a flash player uh, that went on to power a lot of the user interface and became the windowing system for games. And we narrowly averted death. We definitely tapped the bottom. We moved into my mom's house. We lived with my mom. This is you know, tough. When you drop out of college and you take a few other people with you and drop out of college and then you say, hey mom, we need to move in with you. That's really tough. You're, you know, you go, we're really hungry today. Is there any food? Um, yeah, it's tough. But we, we managed to pull it off and we turned it around, uh, built a really cool team and ended up selling it uh, and went on to, uh, to do a lot of cool stuff. So working hard is incredibly important. You also have to take risks. You can't change the world if you don't take a risk. Go, dropping out to create a win windowing system was maybe a little too much of a risk, but at the end of the day, it did define who we are and probably wouldn't be here if we hadn't done it. And I absolutely would, have, would do it again. So you have to take incredible, awesome risks. The bigger the risk, the crazier the risk, the potentially bigger outcome you're gonna have. So don't be afraid of taking risks. Go out there. If something sounds impossible, you're at the age where you don't realize that it probably is. So you should try it, go for it, really. Taking risks is awesome. If you asked me to do virtual reality and said, go out there and make it happen, before I saw Oculus Rift, I probably wouldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to take that risk. It would be too hard for me until I saw the Rift, made by a 19-year-old who didn't have an idea of impossible. He didn't, he didn't think, oh, virtual reality hasn't worked for 30 or 40 years. That wasn't in his head, his head was, how come nobody's figured this out? This should be possible. So you can go out there and you can do it if you take risks. The other point I wanted to make is stay humble. I cannot express how much, how important this is. Ultimately, success is not gonna be just you by yourself. Zuck didn't create Facebook by himself. Steve didn't create Apple. Gates didn't create Microsoft by themselves. Palmer did not create Oculus by himself. We created it with an awesome, awesome team. And the way that we did that was bringing people together and staying humble, respecting each other, pulling together, encouraging each other, and really, really pushing each other to do the impossible, to go out there and solve problems, but being humble. Say we, don't say I. And I cannot stress how important it is. Ultimately, building a team is about respecting and, and appreciating the others on the team and establishing these awesome relationships. So I think Jobs said the journey is the reward. And I like to think the memories and the relationships are the parts that you actually get to keep forever. And those relationships come from staying humble. The memories come from working hard, not sleeping, like you guys are about to not sleep. So it really, again, you know, and taking risks is what gives you this incredible 
incredible outcome potentially. Um, so I wanted to do one more, I had one more story and, and maybe running on, and I know that you guys wanna get hacking. Uh, but since I was coming from Berlin and I haven't slept in a few days, uh, I thought, you know, what could we do here that would really be remembered? Because you probably forget everything I said. Um, <laughs> let's, be, let's be real. You're going to have three days of no sleep, and you're going to look back and be like, that Oculus guy stood up and talked about a bunch of stuff. I don't know, he kind of talked about himself a little bit, and then he kind of talked about some other stuff, and in the end, he showed us something. So um, I brought the Gear VR, and I thought it would be cool to show you guys Gear VR. Um, most of the world hasn't seen it. I think only a few hundred people have seen it. Um, so... Without further ado, hopefully Samsung doesn't get upset that I'm doing this. All right, so uh, again, this started out as a 3D printed uh, prototype. And we then went on and did, oops, I've already broken it, uh-oh. <laughs> prototype. It won't do that when you buy it. Uh, so this is the... Uh, Fixed. Uh, this is the Gear VR. Woohoo! Awesome. Has a tiny little. <laughs> tiny little Oculus logo on the side. We're really proud of that. Um, but what you can see is there's no wires. Yes, no wires. Um, it is untethered, and the way that it works, if you take off this front, which nicely pops off, is you take a phone, like the amazing new Note 4. <laughs> Note 4, woohoo! So you take the Note 4 and you pray that it just works right when you drop it in. So you push it in. That's the sound that you like to hear. All right, so now it's in. We hope it just turns on. Can we get a demo we're out here? Maybe, Alexi, you wanna hop out? All right. Well, I won't because it's all black inside and it didn't turn on. Hold on one second. <laughs> all right, now. Yeah. No, that's the phone. Can't expect these hackathon <laughs> presentations to work perfectly. coming. All right. Something's happening. Something's happening. Yes, we're there. Okay, hold on. Um, so, there's a whole lot of stuff to do. Here you go. I'm just going to act the fool up here while you keep talking. Exactly. So, put it on, and now you are in the future. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, and you look really good. So if you, if, you, if you use this hand over here, yes. and you go right there, and tap the O-O-B-E video, oh, you already tapped something else. You're in. <laughs> You're in Circus Soleil. What do you think? Is you on stage? I just got an option to drop acid. Do I do I do that? Like Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even care for it, but yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. All right, so if you want to pop it off, right. welcome back. Wow, all right, wait, tell me, tell me. Yeah. Tell me John Carmack when he's back at the offices, because I grew up in software. Masters of Doom was the book that inspired me and Steve to start Reddit. Um, tell me John Carmack sits in the offices and like just hangs out at Cirque du Soleil some afternoons. <laughs> he does. And he there's a way to enable a rocket launcher. <laughs> You do not want to rocket jump in Gear VR yet. Um, you will leave your stomach on the 
on the platform here. You don't want to do that. No, no. So but are they, they going to get to play with this? Yeah, well, I, I can pass this around. You guys can check it out. But what? <laughs> don't throw it. I only have one. This is why we can't have nice things. This yeah. is the only one? That is one of like 20 right now. Collector's item. It's one of probably, yeah, about 20 in the US at least. The rest are in Berlin. I had to smuggle that out. Nice. Just for you guys. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.